Oh, my buddy. Oh, man. We are back at it. We are heading to Arizona. From Arizona, we have one drop, one dropping hook, and we're picking up an empty. And we're going to head out to uh, California, Beaumont, Beaumont, I can't pronounce it. We don't have to be there into Cal we don't have to be to California until tomorrow. But I'm gonna try to make it there tonight so I'll have enough time on my clock. Just so I don't have to mess up my sleep schedule. At least we're gonna make it halfway there. There we go. I need to clean my windshield out or something. Um we're gonna make it at least halfway there. And then um we got about Three stops in California, including the Beaumont, Beaumont um, area. It's like right off the 10, so it's on, it's on the way. Um, and then we're heading back to Vegas. And that's the end of my contract. I've been so busy out here moving around that uh, I haven't been recording lately. So, uh. What's this guy doing? He needs some more. He probably broke down. Um, yeah. So, sorry about that, guys. We're gonna get back to it. Um. I had somebody ask me. A couple of questions, but the one that was intriguing, they're asking me right now in this market, in today's market, the way it's going right now, would you, um, how can I say it? In today's market, would you try to buy more trucks to add to your fleet? And I was honest with him. I told him, you know, in today's market, I'm trying to weather the storm, but in today's market, I would be, if I was a company driver, I would be happy I'm a company driver right now. If I'm an owner operator, just starting out, or if you bought a truck in 2022, you know, you bought that 2016, 2018, 2019 for that 50, 60, 70, 80,000, I would be hating it right now. You know. But uh, I would not add on to my fleet. Just me personally. I, don't, I can't tell nobody what to do because everybody's circumstances are different. You might be in a circumstance to where you have a good contract with somebody and they need more trucks and it'd be beneficial because you're already in the door to buy more trucks to pull more loads for them. Um, but me, as an owner operator, single truck, um, I would not add on trucks, but it all depends on the situation, like I said, but me personally, no. You know, I'm taking this little, this little, uh, chump change, you can call it, you know. So I'm gonna be real with you, this trip right here is like 900 miles, a little over 900 and some change. After fuel surcharge and everything like that, I'm only getting paid about not even 230. I think it's like 222, 222, something like that. No, I think 
they give me two thousand dollars for this round trip right here. Nine hundred mile round trip. You know, I'd rather take that at the moment than be out there stuck somewhere or just be on the road. Period. You know, I get a load. Say, if I took a load from California to Salt Lake City or even Las Vegas to Salt Lake City. Yeah, you might get three dollars, four dollars a mile. If you work it right. But once you get there, they they're not paying you over a dollar eighty to get up out of there. You're gonna take a load for one thirty. A dollar forty a mile. To get up out of there. So, you know, you gotta add it up. It's gonna take you, you know, it might take you a day to find that load. So that's some days lost right there, you know. But I don't know. That's just me. Let's get back to it. Alright guys. Oh my buddy. Oh man. We made it. Been sitting here for about a good five minutes. It's been raining since it's been raining since I got here. Um, Phoenix, I uh, uh, can't even talk. Phoenix, there's always lightning here. I don't hear thunder, but it's always lightning when I do come. Not always. You can see a light, you know, around this season or I don't know. The last time I was here, it was doing this, but it wasn't raining. And this time it's raining. And if it's lightning outside, um, like that, the Amazon facilities close down. If it looks like the lightning is, I don't know, a certain amount of miles away or something, I guess it's their protocol to shut down. They shut it down, uh, nobody's in out they closed the gates and uh, yeah so that's what it looks like right now um, we're not getting in until after that stops hopefully it is not on for hours because I have about seven hours on my uh, 14 hour clock and I have about five hours on my drive time and I want to try to make it to California today I think I'm about three hours three and a half four hours away from california and i want to make it to california today so i can have a yellow blurry so i can have a 10 hour you know, i want to sleep all through the night and some of the day and then get up and start my day because if i sleep here tonight i'm gonna have to wake up at seven eight o'clock and start driving in the morning and I don't want to do that so yeah this is where we at guys all right we're looking for parking spot 913 we made it to uh, Beaumont Dropping off an empty and we're picking up a preloaded and we're taking that to Marino Valley or Chino and then Marino Valley or Marino Valley then Chino. Um, I forgot the order, but that's where we're going. And then we're heading to Vegas. So it's about like what, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning right now? Two, I don't know, somewhere around there. And, uh, yeah, we don't have to be, we don't have to pick up until 3 p.m. So we have a long time. We got like 12 hours before we need to pick up. Um, this is the location where I broke my drone. <laughs> I broke my drone right here. I pulled over to the left over here 
and I was too close to the trailers and my truck and the sensors on my drone um, it doesn't have side sensors so on the front it was trying to move over to the side to get away from the trailer and it hit my window my uh, my rear view mirror my side mirrors and when it hit my side mirror it was done it hit my side mirror hit the trailer hit the ground and it was done but luckily for me I cleaned it up and returned it and got a brand new one then the next day because I went home that same day and woke up I don't even think I went to sleep so when I got home it was already early in the morning so I just went right where I got it from and let them know it wasn't working anymore and they gave me a new one because uh, it wasn't broken well it was broken but it wasn't um, these are nine is that nine on one Alright guys, I gotta get back to you. Sorry I cut out mid story. I finished the story. So the it was broken but it wasn't broken. It was just having some uh, hardware malfunction. So instead of me trying to fix the hardware malfunction, I just took it back and got another one. Long story short. Alright guys, I got 30 minutes before uh, I run out of time, so I'm gonna look for this spot. Alright guys. We are calling it a night.